This is Mike's Tech Short showing you how to make a nice intro, outro, or a clip using Panzoid. Go to panzoid.com, click on More Creations. Click. I'm looking for one. I saw it before. Where is it? Oh, well, to the top for a search. Next to the magnifying glass, type in your search criteria. Corntato is the author. I remember that. There it is. So I click on it, then I click View and Clip Maker, and I get to this screen. It's a 30 degree view, not a straight up. Click on the eyeball towards the bottom, and you get a straight on view. Click it again, 30 degree, it toggles. Okay. So I have the one that I want. I'm going to go to the top area. All I'm going to do for this demonstration is modify the text and download it. So that you can see how to do that. This is a kind of a three-dimensional aspect of things. They also add excellent music. They flash, they twirl, they just come out very effective. If you click there, you'll see corn applies to that corn and tato applies to that tato. They're in there twice because behind the corn and the tato in white is the black shadow font. I'm changing it. One thing to take note of is it's not as easy as just typing this text in the box. If I go to the corn in there, I have to go down to this little area here to modify it, and then I have to click somewhere below there, like on the font or on the bevel, to actually get to say, see how it didn't stay? Click on Mike's, and then click someplace else. I just clicked that one little click there, and now it stayed. It's stuck. It took me a while to figure that out, which is why I mention it. So, I'm modifying the text in four places. In this case, I'm going to make the size adjustment as well because I know it's not going to fit as big as it was. So, with those just couple of twists, now I have what I want. Mike's Tech Shorts, this is what I'm going to use for an intro or an outro or a clip. There I'm clicking on the little download icon. It's rendering first. So that's the step before download is to render the video. That is done on their server. You can see that it's taking some seconds. And it's done. Now I click download your video right there. I'm accelerating that. It's now finished. And there it is in my downloads. It's ready.